three of us were all looking for a new, a new place to live and decided we wanted to start a collective. And Lely found this apartment on Craigslist. It was the only place we looked at. And then we met people through various other networks. Oh. And we did uh, some Skype interviews for people who were coming into Chicago. And then some other people we knew through similar interests and chose people who were most ready to build an intentional collective. And we began about a year ago. We have some music, some dance parties with DJs, which are all soundproofed very well. We've had a few folk shows and a few like poetry readings and stuff, and the occasional performance of theater or like experimental stuff. So a huge range, but what ties it all together is the love of art and more, even more than that, political goals, political consciousness. Almost everything we do is either to raise awareness or to raise money for a cause that we believe in. So that's new. That's Debbie, who's not here. Um, it had been her dream was to have a slide from her loft, and that was just built about Can a I week ago. Up? Came with four permanent bedrooms. We added three loft bedrooms, so we built them ourselves. And we painted a lot of this room um, of the apartment in general and spent about a week with about 20 people building this beautiful mural with the artist Iris Iris. Pretty much everything that you see either came with us or we built once we got here or is on display because we're supporting another artist or group of artists. Like the lamps we put up and like the sunflower came with Teresa and like we built the chandelier over there. But a lot of the things we build ourselves, we bought the materials ourselves as well. Or scavenged them. Or scavenged. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we have a really unique fridge <laughs> in that it's it's all open. It's just, you know, if you're hungry, grab it, and usually there's food on the stove, and we, you know, we've become accustomed to making meals for 15 people at a time, and, uh, and then, you know, usually we have friends over who, who help us eat it. All of our events are pay what you can. We never turn anybody away. We also don't charge anyone for hosting events here. But usually it's just a, a organization um, coming together to fundraise for you know a cause that we believe in, and um, you know it, it kind of doesn't make sense if we believe in this cause to charge them to, to fundraise here. So. Right, we're lucky enough to be able to support the space ourselves. Mm -hmm.